Hi all, welcome to myclass.com topic graph traversal. BFS and DFS traversal of graph data structure. So let's start. Anyone who are watching without subscribing this channel, please subscribe it. Give me some motivation for doing lots of videos. Thank you. Graph traversal, BFS and DFS, breadth first search traversal and depth first search traversal. These are the two type of graph traversal. We all know that graph is also a tree like C. We can say that it is a cyclic tree. Is it? Let's assume that this is a C. This is a tree. We all know that this is a tree. If there is an edge from this to this, then we can say that it is not a tree. It is a graph. Okay, so the traversal of the graph is very looks like a traversal of tree also. In tree also there are breadth first traversal, breadth first search traversal and depth first search traversal. In breadth first we are going through level traversal, is it? Level means we are considering the first level, then second level, then another level like that the BF, BFS is doing with tree. Like that also our graph traversal is also working. Let's assume that this is a graph. It is a very simple graph. So when we are considering one node, we are all considering all the other nodes connected to this node. Breadth wise we are considering all the nodes. But in a depth first traversal, for a depth first traversal we are considering only one node then going to this way, then going to this way like that. We are not considering this way. We are backtracking and going to this way after some time that is the dfs traversal of graph let's explain the algorithm and the example so first is bfs bfs traversal of a graph produces a spanning tree as a result so what is spanning tree so let's assume that this is say this is a very simple graph with three vertices a b c okay so we can remove some unwanted edges by considering all other vertices and some edges that is connected to all that vertices. See, this is also by using these two edges we can connect with three this vertices. Is it A with connected with B by using this edge? A is connected with C by using this edge. So, without this edge also we can connect all these three vertices. So, like this tree is we can call it as a spanning tree. So, by using the traversal algorithm we are the product the result is a spanning tree. So, spanning tree is a graph without loops. Okay, so for this we are using Q data structure. We are using Q data structure with maximum size. How many vertices are, vertices are there in the graphs? That much amount is that much elements are there in that queue. Memory elements are there in that queue. So, by use for using BFS traversal. So, let's start the algorithm first. We can explain this. We are discussing this algorithm by using an example. So, our first step is define a queue of size total number of vertices in the graph. If three vertices are there, then we can create a queue with three element list. Okay, three memory space. Then select any vertex as a starting point for traversal. Visit that vertex and insert it into the queue. So this is also a graph. If this we can start, if this is a symbol graph G, so we can start from this vertex or this vertex or this vertex. That is up to us that where we want to start. Clear? Okay. Then visit that vertex, insert into queue. So we want to visit that vertex and insert into Q. Then after ins inserting the queue, if queue is not empty, we are considering the queue then. Visit all the known visited adjacent vertices of that vertex which is at front of the queue and insert them into queue. So we are considering this first vertex and we are again inserting all the adjacent vertices that is known visited adjacent vertices to our queue. Then we are deleting that vertex from the list. If there is no new vertex to be visited, we are adding all the adjacent vertices to the queue. Then we can delete the element from that friend of the queue. Repeat 3 and 4 until queue becomes empty. That is a step 5. We are repeating 3 and 4 until queue becomes empty. So after empty, when queue becomes empty, then produce final spanning tree by removing unused edges from the graph. By using this, we can add at the unused edges from the graph. So then we will get a spanning tree as a result. Let's do this with an example. So, okay, so we are using a Q data structure in this purpose, for this purpose. So we are starting from any vertex. So we, here we are starting A, so add that into our Q. Okay, so we are starting A and add that into our Q. So that means we are we already visited or processed this node. 
So we are just adding this to our spanning tree. Now we want to go to the friend of the queue. That is if queue is not empty, we are going to that queue and in the front side, the A is the. So our next step is to add the non-visited adjacent node to our queue. So which one is the non-visited? All the adjacent nodes are non-visited at this moment. So we, we want to add C and B. C and B means we can add in any order. You can add like B, C or C, B like. So here I am adding like B first and then C. So after this process, we are deleting this from our queue. Now we want to consider next friend value of our queue. So the B is the. So next consider vertex is B. Okay. So we are adding B. So we are adding B. Okay, so we can add also the edge A to B also. Okay, you can add the edge at the last also, then no problem into our spanning tree. So we are considering B. For considering B, first we want to, before deleting B from the queue, we want to add all other non vertices to our queue. All other non vertices means we see also, see already we have visited, see already we have considered to queue, but we want now we want to consider E and D. Okay, you can add with, you can add E, D like that also or D, E like that also. So, we have already considered B, so we want to delete B. Now, we are considering C. Okay, so now we are considering C. C, so we are adding C to our spanning tree, so you can add this edge also. Okay, so before deleting C from the queue, we want to explore all the nodes. In the BFS, when we are considering one node, we are exploring all fully that node okay so the c a e b is there all we have considered b already considered e and e is also we have already considered so we are deleting c from our queue we added this to our spanning tree also now we are considering e okay so we are considering e so we are adding this to our spanning tree okay now we are considering E. When we are considering E, we want to delete E before we want, before that we want to add all other non-visited adjacent vertices to our queue. D already the, so we want to, B is also already we are considered, so only F we want to add to our queue. Now we have visited E also, now, so now we want to delete it, you can delete E now, then we are going to D. So when we are, we are now considering D to our spanning tree. So now then we are checking any other adjacent nodes that nodes are non-visited or not. No. B is already considered, E already considered and F is already considered. So just delete it. Now we have reached F. So now we are considering F. Okay. So we can use this edge for connecting F. You can use this edge also. Okay. But no two edges are there. No cycle is not as possible in spanning tree. So this is the spanning tree for this particular graph. Clear? Now you can delete the F. So uh, now Q became empty. So you can stop this BFS algorithm. Okay. So we are considered like this after E. We have considered D then F. So this is the BFS traversal of this tree. G. Okay. So we can consider other example also 0. So this is our Q where 0 is our spanning tree is starting with 0. Okay. So we are added 0 here to our traversal expression. Okay. Now we are considering 3 or 1. We want to consider 3 or 1. So we so we have entered 0 here. So after when Q is not empty, we are considering this node and add all other non vertices of 0 to this Q. So 1 is there, 3 is there, is it? So all considering all other all vertices, we want to delete 0. Okay. So we have already considered 0 here. Now we want to go to 1. Okay. So now 0, 0 already considered. Now we are going to 1. Okay, so after considering before deleting 1 from Q, we want to visit all the non vertices, non visited vertices and added that into our Q. So there is 3 already visited. Z is already visited. We want to add 2 and 5. 2, 5, then 6 also. Is it? 6 is also adjacent node to 1. 6 also. So we have considered. So now we want to delete this from our Q. Now we want to consider 
and we are considering three we are we can add this to our spanning tree so after zero we are considering one then we are considering three before deleting we want to add all other nodes so we already really we already consider two one zero so we want to add four here is it so we have already deleted three now we want to go to okay so before deleting we just added four to our queue now we want to delete three already considered three now we are considering two okay so we are adding this to our spanning tree you can select this edge okay so any other adjacent node that is not visited no we already visited all the vertices so no need to worry so we are just deleting two next is we are considering five okay so next we are considering five so you can use this edge to connect five all the vertices one two all are we are already visited so no problem we are just deleting from the queue next is six so we are now considering six so you can use this this edge to connect it says okay that is up to you all no nodes are the now we are so we are deleted this from the queue and now we are considering four so you can use this you can use this edges also for four and also this edge you can use for spanning tree so this is the spanning tree for this particular graph this is not a cycle there is no connection to one okay this edge is passing through this okay then our traversal is dfs depth first stretch dfs traversal of a graph produces a spanning tree as a final result spanning tree is a graph without loop here we are using stack data structure with maximum size of total number of vertices in the graph to implement dfs traversal we are using stack data structure so define a stack of size total number of vertices in the graph that is step 1 step 2 select any vertex as starting point for traversal visit that vertex and push it on to the stack we are visiting that vertex and push it this that on to the stack and then we are going to a non visited adjacent node of that vertex which is at the top of the stack and push it on to the stack repeat step 3 until there is no new vertex to be visited from the vertex which is at the top of the stack when we are reading this it is looking like very difficult but very easy we will explain this with a we'll discuss this with an example okay just go through the points the step 5 is where there is no new vertex to visit then use backtracking when we are visiting one node we are going to one way note all the adjacent nodes we are going to one adjacent node and we are suspending that and adding to that stack after we are considering the end of end of the all the vertex and that means no other vertex is non visited then we are backtracking then repeating this step 3 and 3 4 and 5 until stack becomes empty when stack becomes empty then produce final spanning tree by removing unused edges from the graph let's go to an example then it is very easy so this is our example graph g so we are starting from a so okay we are starting from a so we are considering a in a spanning in the spanning tree now go into one of the way o a to z we can also go a to b we can also go to this way or go to this way so when we are go to one way or that ex exploring to b we are considering b we can select b or c also any way we can select when we are selecting b we are traveling to b now we are suspending the working of a that's why we are adding this a to our stack because we want to backtrack and consider again a okay so now we will reach here after we are reaching here we are going to one of the way we are checking non visited adjacent nodes here a is there already visited c and d is there so we we can go to any way so we are going to this way c that means we are not collect, not selecting d or not considering d that's why we are suspending b and we are going to c so before suspending b we are adding that b into our stack okay now we are here when we are considering c a is also there b already we are considered e is there so now we are going to e from c we are going to e that's why we are adding c to our stack so when we, we have reached e it's b is there c is there and d is there only d is we want to consider so we are considering d okay so we are when we are considering d and we have reached d we are suspending e also so we are adding e to our stack 
now we are here then we can now select the non visitor adjacent nodes of d b already there e is already visited or checked now only f is there so we are going to f when we are going to f we are suspending d also now we are here f then we are considering the adjacent nodes here when in the case of f all the adjacent nodes we are already consider e n t so that's why at that moment we are using this backtracking whereas there is no new vertex to visit then use backtrack after f we don't have any new new node to visit it so that's why we are doing backtracking for backtracking way the stack is helping us the stack is helping us to backtrack because after f where we want to travel back yes we want to travel to d see now we are considering d before popping d we are checking any other new node visitor nodes are there that is we are against repeating step 3 4 and 5 is it so step 3 means we want to visit non visitor adjacent vertices but for d also all are already visited b e and f so no no need to do any other work just delete it or just pop it now we want to go back to e e is there so in e already c is there b is there and f is there so no need to do any other work so you just popped it in the case of c also a already there b is there e is already there so just popped it in the b sometimes we want to add other vertex to the spanning tree when we are going to backtracking okay now we are considering b in the b case also nothing we want to do we just popped it when we are considering a also nothing is there so this is the spanning tree for this dfs algorithm okay so in this in this example when we are going back to backtracking there is no new vertex to add to our spanning tree so in some cases it is the let's go with this example when when we are going with example we are first considering zero okay zero now we want to go to this way or also this way so when we are going to this way we are suspending zero when add to our stack so now we are here now we are considering three we can go this way this way and this way so we just go to this way let's consider we are going to this way so we are suspended three we want to add to stack now we are here two when we are going to two we can select five one four also is it just i consider one let's assume that I, so we are now we are considering one so we are suspended two and adding to our stack when we are considering one zero already already considered one already considered two already considered only five we want to consider so we are here so we can travel to here so our way is like this zero three two one then five so for suspending one we want to add this to our stack and now we have reached five when we are reaching five adjacent vertices of the five as adjacent vertices of the five are one and two so already visited but that means no new new adjacent vertices is there for five at that time we are going to backtracking when we are going to backtracking so where we want to go that stack says one to one we want to go so when we are considering one any new node to visit yes six we don't visit again so we want to again visit six also is it so we are considering six okay so six when we are considering six we already suspended one that is we now we have reached here we can did popped from this tree this one we can pop from the stack so we are considering now six and going to six we are considering the already considered one we want to consider only four at that time we are suspending 6 and added to our stack and we are passing to 4 now in the case of 4 there is no new vertex that want to, we want to visit because 3 already visited 2 already visited and 6 already visited that is again we are going to backtracking backtracking where we want to go to 6 node is there any new node to visit 6 no 1 4 5 already visited so we want to pop it now we want to go to any node we want to visit, we want to add to spanning tree no zero already uh, three is already there one is there five is there okay so we want to pop it now we want to backtrack to three three one zero is already the one is there four is we have already ended to spanning tree so we can delete three now we want to consider zero 
zero also no new non visited vertices to add to spanning tree so we can pop zero from the stack also now stack became empty okay so we have considered like this after five we have considered six then we are consider four this is the dfs traversal of this graph okay thank you for watching